I don't think it's that warm, is it? No. Pretty impressive, Ed. Sorry? Impressive! So that's it. After three and a half hours digging, I managed to get around about just over half the pool dug. I need a bucket. I think I'm just gonna fill a bucket. There's no way I can throw it like cereal. It, it's easier to film. This is hard. So now I just need to fill that full of concrete and it's going to be 15 centimetres thick. I'm going to have to pull this metal up a bit into the middle of the concrete, otherwise there's no point having it if it's just lay on the floor and hardly any concrete underneath it. But let's get going. Got a lot to do.
Oh, wrong way around. That's why I have them laid out normally. I see you have a new assistant. Well, I was doing the bike work and Emma came over and said that she wants to drive the mini digger. Oh. Puts her on just to keep her safe for the time being. She starts saying, you, you, come, come. Right, here's the bit you've been waiting for to see this, Anna. I think there's quite a few people that want to see that bit. Okay. Is that your special tool, Ed? Yeah. Just a last. Merci. She's inspecting, Daddy. Right, and that, that first step is going to come all the way out to here, so it's going to be quite a big first step. Mm -hmm. uh, so the idea is I'll have lots of little kind of blocks. So you can see this step is taking shape. Um, I'm quite happy with the size of the top step. Um, so I could see somebody quite easily, an adult quite easily sitting down there, um, you know, having a, a nice sit in the shallow pool. Um, the steps aren't quite finished because actually I made a, a kind of executive decision to uh, make the steps a little bit bigger. And uh, so, I'd already kind of set some of the steps, so I'm having to form the bottom step, which has taken a real chunk out of the day, making this kind of round form. So you can see that that bottom step's going to be formed, and then the others I'm just going to skim over. So the others I've kind of filled in and built up. Um, I'm going to nip down into the pool in a second, show you where, what else we've got done. 
this is uh, I'm really happy about this basically it's the finish for the wall resi ready for resin so we've got one full wall done and almost all of the return wall done too so of course the steps are going to take a bit longer but um, I'm hoping tomorrow I'll get this other wall done and that wall done and at least one coat on the step. Step's going to take about two or three coats. Um, I keep having problems with water though because we've been pouring that much concrete in these steps that uh, water's just been draining out of them. So I'm hoping that come tomorrow and when I pump it out tomorrow we should have a lot less water around. I bought a heater too and some tarps so I'm going to try um, sticking a couple of tarps together, so tarpaulins, um, I don't know what you'd call them, uh, the French call them bash. Uh, so I'm going to stick some, some of those together, just two of them, get a heater on overnight and see if it helps the heat, the, uh, the concrete dry. Uh, but you can see the walls getting there now. Um, it doesn't have to be bone dry, it just doesn't, you know, we can't have water seeping through when he's trying to do the resin. So I'm filming from on top of the soil up here, but you can see um, it's starting to really look like a pool. You've got your skimmers, your steps, your little jets on this side. Give it another day or two and we're going to be there. So uh, it should be interesting progress the next couple of days. I can, I can see a French workman there. Could, well, that be, could that be Ed? Yeah, been cleaning up a bit this morning. Last one of the day.
firstly, I can't see any puddles on this terrace. Well, I wanted to say hello to Bernard. He's having none of it. Straight on with the work. He's got a lot to do, I think. And that's why he's brought his two, two sons with him. Let's leave him to it and just follow what he's doing. He's just preparing now for the resin and fiberglass. Good. That's it. Bernard has started. Ça va, Auntie Bernard? Ça va. These guys are whizzing through. So Bernard's going to come for touch-ups because Ed had started doing the, the, start, the slabs around the pool and because we didn't know when we'd be able to do it and the cement there, the joints aren't dry It's definitely a team effort because one is pretty much, I'm going to say, mixing and the other two working and then the third one, like as soon as there's a like, split second, it just starts painting again. In half an hour, look at them. I'm not even going to say halfway through because it's two quarters through. Well, I was wondering how the guys would get out, but that's it, now we know. They have the little ladder there on the part 
where they painted first and that's already dried there and that's it that's how it's done The last little oh. bit. The last little patch. That's it, it's done. Well, we just have the top of the steps. C'est bon. Et bien là, ça y est. Fini. So I'm going, <coughs> I'm getting a bit of electricity done whilst I'm here. So first things first, I need to take these wires out and push this very thin wire down to the hole. First bit's going to be awkward because it's got a right bend on it and then after that it should be alright. I just trying to get that cable here. I am officially in the pool. And it is looking amazing. This is really important because it, yeah, it just makes it uh, watertight. Watertight, that's it. Don't you do. So, this is really important that when you take the light out, the cable comes right up to the surface, so you can actually work it on the on the light without, um, you know, having to empty the water below the level of the light. So everyone's probably asking the question, well, if you don't need to empty the water for the um, for the connector in here, how's it how's it not just going to short out with the water, the cables? Mm -hmm. Basically, this is where it's actually uh, waterproof. So that's your waterproof. If that seal in there fails, you've had it. You, know, you won't have a light. It's only 12 volt though, but you won't have a light. And um, and yeah, uh, there's a seal around here that keeps the water out too. So this just gets kind of rolled up around the outside here. Mm -hmm. practically finished off just got a few little retouches to do next week but I turned the water on with the hose to fill the pool this morning got in nice and early with Cyril so that uh, it can hopefully be filled maybe tomorrow evening it'll be full
lights are working. It's working, Ed. Ready to be doing some cutting, Ed? Yeah, it's all the finishing touches that uh, they take a little bit of time, but it makes all the difference. I'm just cutting a nice straight line along here. I'm not Ed, anyway. I'm no. an invisible man. <laughs> You're the invisible man, I like that. So there we've got a nice clean edge and we're just going to backfill that with soil after a little bit lower than the terrace so that the water runs off. Well, hello there. It's nice and warm. It actually is nice and warm. Will he go in? Won't he go in? I don't think it's that warm, is it? No. How many degrees would that be? Not much. Sure. I need full reaction. It's also. actually painful. It's actually painful. Oh. That's gonna. It's like a thingy. I'm not, I'm not going in like torso. I don't mind going. No, torso. that's fine. That's fine. You've done it, Ed. Kind of take your breath away a bit. Oh. You've gone in. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it, Ed. Oh. Right, I'm absolutely freezing. Come on, out you go now. You've done it. Oh. Anna, I need a coffee. Need the coffee? <laughs> no, I'm joking, Anna. I think you did it. I, I'm proud oh, of you. Oh my god, the pain! I am proud of I, you. I know how that Olympic athlete felt. The one that had the problems whilst he was doing his laps in uh, Beijing. I couldn't go so soon. There's no way I could have swung. No, 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 no. That's uh, already. It was the the deal was for you to go in the pool, and you did. Uh, one of my ideas was to let Cyril push me in the pool. I think I'm having a heart attack. It was literally painful. How, how people swim in that, I don't, I don't know. Okay, show's over. That's it. That's it. Get on with work now. Yes. Chacha, what are you doing, my best friend? Picking up the gift from Daddy. No, I'm that's not for you. It's too heavy. Are you helping mommy and daddy? Yep. You're the best little assistant, you know that. Yep. I love you. Thank you. I'm trying to put myself a bit here. I'm sorry, Chacha. Do you want to stop? No. It doesn't hurt. 